Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ryan with Veteran Hardware. Thanks for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Today, we're gonna be talking about a 2.1 speaker set from Creative, the SBS E2900s. Now, right off the bat, you'll notice the blue light on this. So this is a little bit more of a flashier 2.1 setup. And I think Creative is trying to make it to be the jack of all trades. So is it a computer audio system? Is it a bookshelf speaker, home theater? speaker system. I think that's what Creative was trying to market this as, was a jack of all trades speaker system. I think what Creative failed at was putting too much into it. Let me elaborate by that. When you start putting other things in and starting neglecting audio quality, things start to suffer. So for example, for a hundred bucks, I'd expect this to sound a lot better. For a hundred bucks, I could also get the Eclipse Pro Media 2.1 THX certified speakers, which are by far the golden standard for computer audio these days. Hell, you can even hook them up to your TV and they'll sound phenomenal. Just running on the specs, it is a five and a quarter inch subwoofer with the satellites being three inches. Uh, power is rated at 15 watts per satellite and 30 watts for the subwoofer with a peak system power of 120 watts. Frequency response is rated from 50 to 20,000 kilohertz. Uh, single to noise ratio is at 75 dB. Now right off the bat, you'll see that these do not have any sorts of grills. So as far as connectivity options, you have Bluetooth, USB port, SD card reader, auxiliary port, and an FM radio. Now the control buttons are located on the subwoofer unit. Personally, I would have liked to see them on one of the satellites, mainly because you tuck away a subwoofer in somewhere else. Mine, I had to set this on the floor, and every single time I had to do something, I had to reach down and see what I was doing. Kind of cumbersome. However, the remote actually helps with this as well too, so I think the remote was more of an afterthought. Now you probably noticed by now the backlit LED on the subwoofer. Three lights, three different color modes. So yeah. All right. So why don't we give this a listen to some royalty free music and we'll come back for a conclusion. conclusion time. The 2900s didn't sound bad. They were a little bass heavy, uh, so they could have used a little bit more treble, but they didn't sound bad. I guess my main problem with the 2900s is all the extra connectivity. That money could have been used for better sound quality and or more subdued looks. The glossy finish that's on all the speakers, satellites, and the main unit, fingerprint magnet. The speakers, yeah, I can see these getting damaged really fast. Nothing to protect them. But I mean, realistically nowadays, how do you listen to your music? I know I don't use an SD card or a USB flash drive to put my music on. I stream it. Whether I'm on my smartphone or my computer, I stream my music via Spotify or iHeartRadio, YouTube Music, whatever your streaming service ends up being, which Bluetooth is good to include with this. But the other ones make no sense. Radio used once. Like I said before, this is priced at $99.99 on Creative's website and on Amazon. Links to it will be in the description below. Please sound off in the comments what you're using for your audio device, whether it's just headphones, speakers, both. What do you use? I'd like to know, because I'm actually shopping. All right, guys, I'm Ryan with Veteran Hardware. If you haven't liked and subscribed by now, please do so. It helps me out a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one.